This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this video clip is Cooperation versus Collaboration. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What is cooperation? What is collaboration? What is the difference between the two terms? In one of their conversations, Jack and Jen explained to Harry and Mary that there had to be some kind of collaboration between their employees. Collaboration had the potential to improve the customer experience, whether it was about selling plumbing parts or selling language courses. According to Jack and Jen, employees had to collaborate together by leveraging social media tools. This involved creating some kind of community ambience where employees took pride in working for the company. To start this, usually companies need the help of a consultant who has expertise in social media tools and employee training. Harry replies, Yes, I always said my employees needed to cooperate. Jen immediately says, Dad, there is a big difference between cooperation and collaboration. This slide shows the difference between cooperation and collaboration. To cooperate means to work together. The word is sometimes written in two parts, co-operation. It refers to the harmonious process of each doing a task that leads to a certain outcome. Very often, each person involved in a group takes a share of the work and accomplishes it by a certain deadline. Very often, when group work doesn't work well, it is because some people are not doing their just share and others have to double their output to reach the desired performance. However, sometimes, for some ill-structured situations, cooperation is not sufficient. The group or the team needs to collaborate. This means that there is still a task to do or a problem to solve, but each person in the group is there for a different purpose. Think of it in terms of how a school works. There are students, parents, teachers, resource teachers, teaching assistants, a principal, and perhaps one or two vice principals, social workers, psychologists, a speech therapist, etc. Everybody is responsible for learning, but everybody assumes the task differently. The teacher who is teaching kids how to read in grade one sometimes needs the help of a speech therapist or a learning specialist who can help those who are having a hard time. The parents have their share of responsibility in terms of how they support them at home to encourage learning how to read. In the best case scenario, they work in collaboration. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Why is there a misunderstanding between cooperation and collaboration? What needs to be present in a business in order for employees to collaborate? In your opinion, which factors can hinder collaboration?